Nasir Mahadev, same thing. That was his job. That was his purpose. That was, that, there you go, that was his purpose. Right? So now it's for all of us to find our purpose. So go out there and find your purpose. Right? Right. <laughs> Some mixed juice, pomegranate, and orange. Granite. What is it? Pomegranate. Pomegranate. And these are the oranges <coughs> here. The, these are usli oranges, isn't it? The oranges that we get in the UK are a bit different. Though. Where have we come? We come to um, Villa Bordewala. Boy, I'm not here to make have broken it. We came here last night as well, and it's so good. We come again to, uh, for lunch. So, Bisa, what do you think about parotta for breakfast? Yeah, very good. Yeah. Good. So the menu. He's not a morning person. <laughs> I think he's actually in the morning this afternoon. <laughs> it's like 12 o'clock, guys, isn't it? Is it? It's too hot to walk, so Ankar Singh wants to get a auto. We got a rickshaw, even though it's a one minute walk. Is it one minute? <laughs> it's just over the <laughs> well, I went to walk here, I went to get like a ton. Well, which Kutara are we going to now? I think it's Banda Kart we're going to. Banda Kart sir. Yeah, I think it's cool. It's just, it's literally just down here, but we can walk it back though. Is that okay, Uncle? Yeah, it's really up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's midday at the moment, so the sun, the heat is at the peak, right? And we just ate as well. It's 35 degrees right now, according to uh, the weather app. Those, those parotte were really good. Yeah, but you know, 35 degrees in India feels different to 35 degrees in England. Do you think? You mean hotter or colder? Like, it doesn't feel as bad. It's, it's bearable. Yeah, my mum says that, don't it? Yeah, yeah. Like UK, when it's a heat wave, like 35, you know, it's just horrible. It's like a. It's just sticky, sticky. Yeah, exactly. But in, in India, it's just all right. You could, I could, I could carry, well, as long as I'm hydrated, got a nice sugary drink. Yeah. I'll be okay. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, yeah. What? Oh, we've reached here already, I think. That is the good Yeah, this is the good Shaggy, I've got bare tents. Oh, you're gonna be like um, how much was it? Uh, it's 40 rupees. I think that was a bit much as well. Like, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. It was. Buy it, but it's literally just down the road. Really. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's one for us. Yeah, but they paid. He paid 70. Yeah. And he went from one airport to the other. That's 20 minutes. He went down the road. How much yeah. did you pay? Yeah, but they have the base <laughs> rate as well. Now mm. times 10. <laughs> <laughs> so technically, he, we got more ripped off now than then. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Yeah, that no, 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 because no, no, this is a one minute drive. Bro, no, 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 no. they have a base rate, they always have to get that base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah, yeah. No. Yes. You, didn't, you didn't see the base rate because the meat had turned off. <laughs> no, 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 listen though, that was one minute drive and you charged 40. Mine was a 20 minute drive. So if you did 20 times 40, that's 800. So technically, if you want to do that maths, you got we got more ripped off now. <laughs> well, no, it's true though, don't what, Whatever makes you feel better then. Yeah, just go and take a picture of the dog. On a um, on cha trampoline. I can't even pull my own apart. The trampoline's easy, those techniques, bro. Bro, roly-poly. Compared to a I took a roly-poly roly with a fossil bowl. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Why is everything in food for you? <laughs> What's a press up? <laughs> what, what, like a burger flip? <laughs> oh, is, is, a, is a press up a burger flip? <laughs> Oh, why is running? Tell me, why is running? What are you, what are you going to do going up the Gudara side to get up Yo, this? Make sure. Is make it sure. is a Allu roll or something to get up? Oh, I can't Send this video to yourself before you delete it. <laughs> I just come to Banda car to go to the side. Washing our hands and wash our feet as well. Uh, this it has is to do with um, this Guru card, the history is to do with Banda Singh Bahadur. So you can read the board as well when you come here. They just give the background to his life. So his name was Lachman Das uh, when he was a young child. And uh, he used to do he used to hunt. Uh, and what happened one day was that when he was hunting, he killed an animal. But that animal, I think it was like a um, deer, probably a deer or something. Uh, but what happens is that the deer was actually pregnant and the child inside. So when he went and, and saw this, that he not just killed the deer, but he killed the, the child inside as well, the mother and this child. He gained a lot of virag. So virag means this idea of like a lot of detachment uh, from the world. And that's when he actually left his home and uh, he took upon different gurus uh, for many, many years. Not just one guru, he changed his name a few, a few times. 
Maldados uh, Beragi, there's another name that you had as well. Uh, but you can watch that in the Waiguru course. I think uh, that goes in quite a lot of detail. Even in the Waiguru course, like a month ago, I can't remember the names now. And uh, what happens is that he ended up coming here and settling here. And even one of the places they went to, if I remember correctly, he even like had this book of spells. Wow. Right? So like he had a lot of, uh, a lot of Shakti, a lot of powers, right? And then eventually he came and set up his Dera. Like Dera means like a, uh, where you reside, his place of residence here. And whenever people would come, like different uh, spiritual beings that come to this place, uh, he'd overpower them with his own powers. Uh, and he would basically do their besti. Right? How do you say it in English like besti? Like they should Humiliation. Humiliate the person, right? Uh, to the point where, just to get one over them. Right? And then eventually Guru Gobind Singh Maharaji came here. We talked about you know, like Hidakata yesterday and stuff like that. Um, so we did actually finish off the Yatara yesterday, innit? Mm -hmm. We only did, we did most of the places, but then we stopped because uh, the taxi driver, we took ages, innit, yesterday, innit? Yeah, he We had took to our go. time at the, and he had to go. So then we just told to drop us back to our room. And to be honest, we were really tired anyway, so we thought we'd carry on today. Hence why the change <coughs> of clothes and stuff like that. Um, so, but when you are doing this Yatara, it's, it's best, probably best to do it over two days, innit? It depends, uh, because we took a personal taxi, innit? Mm. But I think the first time, if you're, if, especially if you're new to India, especially to Hazur Sahib, it's, it's not a bad idea to get the bus. Mm. Of course, it's not as comfortable, right? you've not got AC in there, but the, the, the breeze is all right, to be fair. No, but if you want to spend time at each place and like, yeah. sit there and read everything. Well, then... To be fair, you do get that when you go on the tour, and then yeah. you, once you walk in, you always have somebody who explains it to you as well. That's true. Yeah. Right? Uh, but if you go on your own, you might not get that because they're expecting you to come hmm. and when you come in a, a group in it hmm. so they'll give you that experience in it i'm not saying it's a you're gonna, gonna get like a in-depth experience but you're gonna get something that you can take away if you understand punjabi if you don't then you can read the boards in english but even the english and punjabi there's difference if you hmm. read them both the punjabi has more detail but i guess that's why it's good uh by harman singh's done the 100% that by, Sabiha, by Harman Singh has made uh, this whole Godala tour series and hopefully even watching this as well uh, you get a bit of a better idea mm. of it so Guru Saji, Hira Kaat, uh, Shikar Kaat they sat at these places beforehand uh, and then they came after us once they came to this Astan here this is where like Bandha Singh Bahadur and Godavari is behind us can you see it from here? can you see Godavari? I think you can. Uh, yeah, if you go behind the Gudra side. Yeah, it's, it's literally there, you can just see it over there. So Guru Saji came to this place where it was his Dira, it was his place of residence of Madhav Das Beragi. Uh, and they came and they sat on their asan, you could say, like where they would sit on their, on their manja. Right? And, uh, ooh, the floor is really hot now. And uh, then what did Madhav Das Beragi try to do? He tried to actually overpower the Guru, like he did to all the other like spiritual beings and stuff, uh, but it didn't work. Right, so cutting a long story short, they came and they fell in Guru Sabji's feet and they said, who are you? And they said, I'm the one that you've been looking for. Right? And, I'm, and they said, you're Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. Right? And they go, Hanji. Right? And that's when Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj, uh, they gave him, they told him the whole history, the whole of Guru Tahas. Right? So imagine, you know, you hear stories and you think they're so amazing, which they all are, to be honest. Uh, but imagine hearing it from the Guru themselves, like from Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Why Guru Nanak Dev Ji came? all the way up to the present moment, the Shahidi of the Shorte Sahibs are, the Vardai Sahibs are, they from the father themselves, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, what happened. Imagine what that did to Madhav Das Beragi when they heard all that stuff, right? Uh, and that inspired them. Then they took Amrit from Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji at that time. Uh, and then they changed their name to Banda Singh Bahadur, or other people say Guru Bak Singh, however you want to look at it. And uh, Guru Sahib gave them 20 to 25 Singhs, uh, Panj Piyare, uh, that would travel with them, they would get all the advice. So Bandha Singh Bahadur was a Jatidar, they were like the leader, you could say, but they would get all the advice in the Panj Piyari. Right? They were given Panj Deed, five arrows, uh, they are given a hook of Namasai, which is an order, basically saying that, you know, um, wherever they go, they, t they inform the Sangat, that, you know what, this is, this is the hook of Guru Gobind Singh Ji, to join the Jatha or to support the Jatha of uh, Bandha Singh Bahadur, and uh, more, a lot of things, I think a Nagara was given to them, I think a Kanda was given to them, given a lot of different items. And then Bandar Singh Bahadur was on this mission now to go to all those places of those people that oppressed others, including the Gurus. So it, I tried to oppress the Gurus, right, in that respect. So uh, whoever is uh, responsible for Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji's Shahidi, I think his name was like, 
it was like Jalad, that Jalad's music executioner, something like Dean, I can't remember now. Like. So they went and um, basically killed him. The two executioners, the two brothers that killed the shortest Hebzade, they went and they and killed those people as well, got their saza, punished those people. Whoever it was that was responsible for killing like Pir Buddhu Shah, who was a Sikh of Guru Sahib Ji as well and, and fought in the battles of Guru Sahib Ji. I think he was like um, hung alive or um, like cut into little pieces as well. Right, so even um, all those people that are responsible for that, uh, Bandar Singh Bahadur went and sorted those people out. Even the Muslims that are being oppressed, they would go and help those people. So, so it wasn't just like a, a sick thing. It wasn't like a, like it was about the Sikhs here. It was to remove that oppression, basically, right? So that's what Bandar Singh Bahadur did after um, Guru Sahib told them that whole history. And you got to think that it wasn't like easy. It wasn't like they just went and then just, just effortlessly won the battles. Of course they did. But they faced their struggles in a lot of those. And I think in the Battle of Sirhand, which is a very difficult battle, they actually used those deeds, those five hours that Guru Govind Singh gave to them. Right? So they were not just, it wasn't, they, it was in the Shani, it was the sign of the Guru, the blessings, but the, 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 he actually used them in the battle, the Guru's arrows when they needed them. And that was at like the game changer, you could say, right? Mm, the super weapon. Super weapon, right? It's the Guru's deed, isn't it? Like uh, in Hazur Sahib. See how big those tears were, right? Mm. I, I don't know how big the tears were, as in the hours were um, that Bandar Singh Bahadur had, uh, but there were, were probably some proper lethal hours, right? Mm. Yeah. So, so this is that very place where Guru Sahib met Bandar Singh Bahadur. Yeah, and then they inspired them. Right? And if you just see, did you take? Did you show Godavari? Yeah, we we'll should look at it now. Okay, it looks, it looks. So imagine those days. It wasn't like this. It was probably just like open river, and probably was in this highly built, right? So it's beautiful from here, isn't it? And just the one last point is like, what do you think kept the things going? Probably like the Barney. Barney, definitely. Mm. But also these stories, right? Yeah. So you know, like people have this kind of thing where they say that, you know, like, you know, you don't need to tell stories. It, 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 the house is not important. I 110% agree that good Barney fuels us. And that was within their lives as well. But you can't deny the fact that history played a big part. And a lot of people that come into Sikhi today, even myself, it was mainly in one respect to do with the Itahas. Yeah. They, 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 uh, they all complement each other. Right? It's yeah. like having a mother and a father. Mm. Right? You need both. Right? Mm. Uh, of course, some people can uh, live with just one parent or no parents and it's still possible. But in general, in, if you just standardize it or generalize it, mm. we need both a mother and father because they give us something different. Yeah. Right? So you can look at that as like Gurbani and Itahas. But the cool thing is that Gurbani and Itahas, they, they overlap anyway. They, they, they're, they're not separate. They're one. A lot of the Shabbats, a lot of the things you find in Gurbani have a historical story behind it, why the Guru said it. Mm. So that's what kept these Guru Sikhs going. I right, was hearing these stories of the shortest Ebs, are they? Right? Hearing that, you know, these, these young five and seven year old brothers, um, you know, gave Shahidi and the way they stood up to it for Sikhi and didn't give up their Sikhi, right? So that inspires people today. That inspired me to keep my kiss when I watched the movie, Charles mm -hmm. Ebs, are they? So, mm -hmm. Back in 2014. Wow. Mm -hmm. In December, it came out. Mm -hmm. So I stopped quiet my hair in November. Mm -hmm. I had a party. <laughs> Went to a party. I had to look fresh for the party. And after that, I never cut it again, um, mm. especially because of that movie. So we'll go inside with my tatik. Uh, and you know, it's very interesting. What, what we realize is different about these Guru cards here in India, here in Hazur Sahib. There's always someone inside. That's one thing. <laughs> that's, not, <laughs> that's not a great answer. <laughs> um, but I'll give you a clue, yeah? Where Guru Sahib is Prakash? What is different? There's loads of Shastar. There's loads of Shastar. That's a really good one. There's a, more than one through. There's more than one sarup, right? Mm. There's Ard and Dasam, Guru Gan Saji Prakash, right? Mm. That's very interesting, not just in one Astan, across. All the little, little Astans, even those had Siri Dasam Grand. Yeah, and some had three, maybe mm. Sablo Prakash. Right? I know, like, in terms of like basics, we don't really talk as much about these things, mm. like Ard, especially Dasam and Sablo. Mm. Um, there's no reason for that, it's just there's so much to cover with the basics, you could say. We're like Guru Gan Saji Maharaj. Uh, but you know, we we'll definitely try and expose more of this stuff. And I think we'll touch on this more when we go to Siri Akal Takht Sahib. There's yeah. a very interesting history there. Okay. A very sad history actually, what mm. happened when there used to be Dasam Granth Prakash there. Okay, I never knew that. Yeah. Wow. So, but when we go there, we'll talk about it. There you go. But, and, and like we said in the previous part, um, parts of this vlog from yesterday, is that again with Hazur Sahib, it's all Parata Maryada. Yeah. Right? Parata Maryada means just that the old traditions and disciplines that took place, right? So, you know, it's amazing. and. Uh, 
Hence why, like we were saying yesterday, there's something different about Hazur Sahib. Mm. And they always say this, like, uh, you know, the British were say, well, like, why are the Sikhs so strong? Mm. What have they got? And it was, it was a Dasan Bani. Mm. And that doesn't take nothing away from all the Bani, as in Siddhi Guru Granth that we see today. It's all Bani, mm. right? So, and this is Guru Gobind Singh's Bani, and there was, there's a purpose to read their Bani, yep. which is that it fills us with that Shakti as well, that Biras. Mm. Right? And you look at the things here, they're filled with that, man. Yeah. It's just, the, 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 the the, the the character the character is quite different isn't it it's mm. proper like so much energy in there right when they say fatty like when someone says fatty to me i'll just go why could you call so they're proper like shout in it proper, proper so much energy in there mm. man all day every day it's true you know what i mean that's like me once a week probably you know, have that much energy so we, now maybe if you look at the vlog again you'll realize that actually there's not just guru gran sahibji there's also Another surup. That's some good gun side. The majority of the time, that's pretty fast as well. Here come the other things. Might as well talk to them whilst I go my Yeah. Right. Chalo. How how you guys find it? I came to you for the questions. You came to me for the questions. Yeah. I was about to go my <laughs> What what questions do you have? Go. No story. I'll try and best. I probably don't know the answer. So is this the good where uh, Mado Dasti used to be? Yeah. And then Guru Gobind Singh came here, sat on the Munda. Yeah, yeah. So I just saw the whole Ma history. Uh, yeah. Mada does try to turn it over. Yeah, they tried to use their Shakti on Guru Sahib. And Mada broke all his hangar, right? Yeah, right. all their pride just like that. Then, what I was saying to you, what I was just saying now on the vlog was that, then, you know, they, they gave him like five arrows, gave mm. them 20 things or 25 things and a, a bunch of people Hukko on my side. Like, wow. you know, this is, um, take this around wherever you go, build up this army. So when they were going from pin to pin, it would grow. The army would go, but what also they did was that they told him the whole history of Guru Tahas. So imagine hearing it from Guru Gobind Singh Ji about like when I was in my first form as Guru Nanak Dev Ji, all the way up to that present moment. So they told him themselves about the Shahidiya or like the Sebs are there, the sons. So imagine hearing it from the father themselves. Uh, imagine what that did to Madhav Das Biragi at that time, hearing it from the Guru, and that fueled him and that fueled the Guru Sikhs because. Today, when we hear the history, we either read it from books, grants, or listen to in Qatar, right? And it's very hard to find somebody who's actually experiencing it, right? So imagine meeting people that knew those people firsthand, knew the Sebs are there, saw the Sebs are there, run around in Ampur side, right? So imagine hearing it from them. So when they're going through the difficult battles, that's what kept them going, innit? Well, like, I don't know for you guys, when you came with the Sikhi, or when you were in your Sikhi as well, like, was it was it the horse? Was it good Bani? What kept you guys going? Like, what keeps you guys going? What do you like? Is it Kirtan? What is it? What keeps you kind of fueled in it? What inspires you? I think for me it was probably Qatar. So not knowing much about Sikhi and then having it accessible in English. Yeah. And then getting not that you get full understanding, but having some understanding of what Maharaj is saying. Hmm. I found that inspiring. Yeah. And then like the the deep concepts and stuff. I think so Qatar for me probably. But like more stories or like more like Gulbani or is it not matter like? Uh, stories from like Mara's time and then, then, then the Sakya you get as in the uh, Sikya you get from that. Yeah, like Sikya meaning teaching. Teachings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anjokar Singh, what about you? Yeah, what was the question? The question was about what's in, what, inspired, what inspires you? Is it, 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 the heart so, so what, so what keeps you going? Good. Yeah, what keeps you going? What's, what's inspired you into Sikhi yeah, yeah, yeah. and what keeps you going now as well? So. I think definitely a big thing, Sangat is such a massive thing. Yeah. Sangat of Gur Sikhs, Gur Mugs, Mahapur. Hmm. And that's something that's kept me going. Seeing people live Sikhi. Yeah. So it's not just like a myth or story. Yeah. It's real. Mm -hmm. And looking at people living it, yeah. that just emphasizes it. Mm. emphasize it even more that it is a real thing okay then and having that belief that there is something out there so for you it's almost as it, where it is that you've actually seen that you've experienced that you see people that live sikhi uh, so you know it's real right yeah definitely i yeah. want to be like them yeah so like positive role models in your life mm. i think um, that's what keeps me going what gives you like a boost even when you feel down like what are like you know something everyone has that kind of boost what is yeah. your boost i think probably give them programs yeah. Like going to a few of those. Bungie. That definitely gives me a boost. Mm -hmm. What about you? A boost? Yeah. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't had it yet. Looking, looking for a boost. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, this is a big boost. <laughs> yeah. But obviously, this is not accessible all the time. So, like, for me, whenever I'm down, I try to think of uh, what the initial things were that brought me into Sikhi or made me have blame for Sikhi or Marad. So, it probably would be like Qatar, actually. Yeah. Yeah, Qatar. What was your one? 
this, this is hard, right? You've dropped it on me for. Hey, yeah. I'll, I'll, answer, yeah. <laughs> I'll answer it. All I say is that I agree with what our own is saying, first of all, that doing those things that brought you into Sikhi. Because I feel like, you know, if somebody gets into Sikhi, they kind of stop doing all the things they were doing beforehand and then they just drop. Like the biggest one is that they stop doing Sangat, like you were saying, right? Mm. You know, especially if somebody takes Amrit, so um, like common, they stop doing Sangat and then the Sikhi drops and they wonder why this has happened. And uh, that's probably one of the main reasons, isn't it? Mm. Uh, I think for me, the biggest boost is probably again uh, doing Sangat. But that's why I link back to Santia, because that's like my main Sangat that I have, isn't it? Uh, like with Staji and stuff and the, and the, and the Guru Six there. Mm. Only because you get your Gurbani top up. But you also get your gutter and it's, it's like all in one to be honest. So I think for me that that's probably my big one. Especially you know like I think a lot of times when you come to the when we come to the Godra, we're expecting to get hit with something hard every time we come. But I, personally I don't get that. Like I don't walk out of the Godra every day thinking that's it, I'm a, you know, I am on like cloud nine, wherever the saying is, right? But it's those one or two times, whether that's once or twice a year, that you take away something very special. It's small amounts, but often. Yeah, small amounts, but often. What does that mean? Little, little but often. Little, little but often. often. Huh? Little but often. But that's little that's but exactly, often. That's, that's, that's opposite. exactly opposite of what he's saying, though. Yeah. No, he was saying no, no, no. that he, he doesn't get a hit every time he goes good dora. So he gets no, a lot saying... sometimes, not a little often. Oh. Yeah, I get a, That doesn't a make lot. any sense, then. It does. <laughs> it does. It's, so, it's like saying that, you know, every time you're going to get something, it's to say that that one or two times in the year, I'll get a lot. But it's worth it. But well, then you also oh. get a little often. So, so you got loads then, innit? Well, according so you, to him. <laughs> you got the lot and the little bit, According to him, yeah. But you know what I mean though? Like, if, for example, you could be struggling with Amr Dvila for so long, uh, for for like months. Well, I've been through phases when I was like uh, about three, four years ago, but like, I just couldn't wake up in the morning. Yeah. Like, I mean, oh, I'd wake up and it's like 5 30, and I think, oh, well, technically, yeah, Amr Dvila finishes at 6 <laughs> o'clock. So what am I going to do in half an hour? I'm asked to sleep till 8 o'clock yeah. and then uh, that way I get my full sleep and I can just do my Amrit Villa, well, yeah. Amrit Villa, right? Whereas only when I listen to Qatar one day, uh, it just, it, I'm not saying it was something different in the Qatar, it just one day it clicked. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? So... And also like Amrit Villa, doing it with friends. Yeah. And Sangha is so much easier. It's really And cool. now on the Siyatra, hmm. we haven't really thought about it. It's yeah. just been happening, isn't it? Exactly. Even at home as well, hmm. if you make like a, something that we've done, Create a little like WhatsApp group. Like, huh? No, but a little. It's not enough. No, it's, like it's, that. it's, it's really important though. I agree. So it's like if you phone each other in the morning, mm. you wake up. Sometimes you don't wake up. I'm with Villa, buddy. Yeah, basically, you phone someone in the morning, yeah. and if if you see the phone call and you cut it off, that's telling you something, isn't it? <laughs> I do that. I do that most of the time. Oh, most you of the time. The phone, and then you just leave it. Yeah. You carry on. <laughs> most of the time, it's Rohan Veer calling us. No, yeah, 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 it is. It is. Sorry, yeah, bro. Bro. Yeah, there you go, and, and that's really important because what's really cool is that when we go over the villa, some days all of our cars are parked next to each other. <laughs> yeah, that's just like, like, all yeah. four cars. It's like really, Avengers assembled. It's yeah. really cool, man. And we've all got our own spot now. As there well, you go, innit? By the that hut. That hut, innit? Exactly, yeah. innit? So we know, innit? We're to come in, innit? Uh, and stuff, innit? So it's, it's really nice, man, because in. Even though we're not talking in the morning, maybe you two have a little cup of tea afterwards, right? <laughs> after That's what we're going for. That's what we're going for. <laughs> yeah, but Sometimes when you haven't had the cup of tea, like going to be Zaniji, ask us. Yeah, they think we're not coming, yeah. yeah. So we've stopped that because of your lots in India, but us having a... Uh, what happened? What happened? <laughs> So um, we stopped having jar afterwards just to save time. Why? Because someone said then, something. No, 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 just no, no, no. But then like his nanny that were like, oh, you're not coming. I'm not the villa anymore because that's when they'd see us. They'd see oh, us. Oh, having tea. So then they think we're not coming if we don't. Uh, Do they think we just come to have tea? In the <laughs> yeah, <probably. laughs> that's it. No way, man. Definitely, that helps a lot. The sun get again, isn't it? Sun get again. Yeah. Because you're gonna, you feel a bit. You wake up. I remember one morning when I was here, uh, uh, back in uh, in Punjab. And we were waking up really early, right? It was like one o'clock in the morning, but they were in a different room for me. And I woke up that morning, it was at one twenty. I overslept in it. And I was like, I might just stay in my bed, say a few waigurus, and just take a bit more of a, have a bit of a longer rest before I can't, because the things are going to be at the, at the Godola for two o'clock. If, if they don't see me there, what are they going to think in it? Uh, I'm not saying we should, be, but you still have that little thing. Yeah, it helps, helps. Accountability. The, yeah. accountability. That's the word, accountability. Yeah. So I got there and they didn't turn up. Yeah. <laughs> but I still got to do my villa and I left uh, like later on thinking, actually, thank God I did come and stuff, innit? So I think it holds you accountable, innit? Mm. Uh, where you know that other things are going to be there in the morning as well, innit? So mm. hopefully afterwards when we go back to UK, we can carry on. Yeah.
You still have love That's the point of these yantras as well, right? Mm. Gives you that boost, but so, like, what you said that off, uh, what was it? Sometimes a lot. Little often. No, the other one, a lot sometimes. A lot, a lot. So, so this is the sometimes. We're yeah, giving we're the a uh, constructing, uh, huh? constructing advice, right? <laughs> Opposite <laughs> you, advice. You confused yeah, us. That's it? why. Uh, sorry. You confused us. So now, like, what we're gonna learn on this trip, hope yeah. you can take it back with us to London, hundred percent, and incorporate that into our daily lives. What's one thing that you've learned here that's different than that you incorporate into your life? Like something little, like mm. you know, like the Nishan type thing that yeah. we were all talking about. Yeah. About giving respect to Nishan Sahib, bowing mm. down to Nishan Sahib. Mm. Maybe that's something that we can do in the UK because every Guru Guru Gurdwar has a Nishan Sahib. Yeah. So just doing a Mutha take to a Nishan Sahib when you go in. I think that's really good. That's one. just something small to take back mm. so far. What about you? I agree. I think uh, yeah. that's a good one. Nothing else you can think of? Uh, yeah, there's a couple. A couple. Go and do it. Set camera on it. What? Oh, okay. it's, it's, right? a, it's only day two. <laughs> No, it's day two of Hazur so no, it's day three, isn't it? Fast, yeah, day three. But no, but I mean, it's only like the, it's, it's still early stages, let's see. But he, he said he's got like a few, but he said he doesn't want to I've got one, I've got one, I've got one. No, no, I just don't want to say oh. that. No, no, seriously. I'll take yeah. it off, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, that's, that's fine. fine. That's fine. Jolosh, you carry on then? Yeah, let's go in then. Jerry, I need to do my yeah, yeah, And then uh, we'll move on to um, Nagina Guard, which is uh, next door. Uh, as well. so, yeah, we'll walk that as well, yeah? We're not getting it out of, yeah? <laughs> Let's get no, we'll, we'll go to the we we'll go to the museum downstairs. Oh, okay. That's really cool. There's a lot of nice pictures. Wait, wait, before we go in there, so why did uh, Maharaj want to see um, see Madhudas then? Why did he why did he specifically go to see him? Like, was was Madhudas doing? Because I didn't get that from the billboard. Why did he go to see him and like sit on his sit on his mandar? What do you mean by why though? Like, what's your question specifically? Like, did he do something like? Why, why was he so like important for that Maharaj wanted to change him? Yeah. Was he just I, happened I, to be? I, like I'd for example, say, yeah. sorry, so like like for example, like yeah. all the other people that Maharaj has uh, freed, like hmm. for example, the cannibals and etc. Yeah. Maybe they weren't. No, they Maharaj went to see the cannibals as well. Yeah, I know, but, but no, I, saying, I, mean, I mean, was this guy doing something wrong? Like, was he was he using his powers that he gained for something wrong, or was, is it did Maharaj oh, oh, to him? Yeah. No, no, that's fine. He was using his powers wrongly. So oh. when when Maharaj sat on that manja, they sat on that bed, you could say. Um, a lot of other spiritual beings had to come first. They need to sit there. And the mother does belong you use his powers to topple over them oh, so and, do the, and, 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 and do their best, right? Disrespect mm -hmm. the person, right? Mm -hmm. Show how powerful he is. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's not even just that. Like, we, we've all got hunkar. Mm -hmm. That's like, you might as well go to every guru card and go to every committee member and turn them over, <laughs> innit? No disrespect, but I still want to come to programs. But you get what I mean, in it, yeah? Um, but that was probably his Pishle Kada minute, like his previous lives. He's probably done something there, mm. but now he's got this. This is his seva. Mm. You could say, you know, someone could say, why didn't um, you know, Pai Dair Singh do that seva? Why didn't Pai Tadam Singh do? They had a lot of seva, seva that they did, a lot of service that they did, but that was specifically for Bandar Singh Bahadur. Mm. He had that duty. Mm. And like Maharaj Rajit Singh, he was the one that gave Khalsa Raj, right? There was something inside him, he had certain golden qualities that that was his. Our Guru said you picked him. So Bandha Singh Mahadur, same thing. That was his job. That was his purpose. That was, that, there you go, that was his purpose. Mm -hmm. Right? So now it's for all of us to find our purpose. So go out there and find your purpose, right? Wow. <laughs> it's true though, we all have a purpose, right? Big or small, you, you, we've all got something that we need to do in it. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that's a cool way to finish off this part. Purpose, isn't it? Like how by sub you were saying about legacy, what's the difference between legacy and purpose? In that respect, I think it goes hand in hand. Isn't it? Goes hand in hand. Through your purpose, you build your yeah, legacy. Yeah. Isn't it? Wow. There you go. Bole 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 Do you see that? Hey, not God. I think so. It's one of the first ones, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you what happened in that one? You've got to be seeing the guy, innit? Someone mm -hmm. tried to assassinate Maharaj? Yeah. They sent one or two assassins uh, to a Vazir Khan sent them to kill Guru Gobind Singh Ji. Oh. And uh, one stood outside of Bera, like to like, just look around, the other one went inside. Uh, and he stabbed the Guru Sahib Ji, um, like right here on the side. Uh, and what happened was that one account that I read is that Guru Sahib Ji always just so a lot of Guru Sikhs here, they always tiyari, but tiyari when they're sleeping. 
Right, so the one I heard is like Guru Sahibji had like a, um, what do you call the punch daggers again? Qatar. Under their pillow. Right, and as soon as they stabbed him, Guru Sahibji held on to them, held on to like the sword, uh, the, using the, the dagger, they got their own one, they stabbed him straight away and killed him there on the spot. Right, and the other one that was outside leg day, so much of just chopped man's off straight on the spot, yeah. And the other one who's outside, they shout out to the singers and they just guard them there. So it was job done in it. Right, so what happened was that when they'd obviously been uh, stabbed, they had to get repaired, right? They obviously stitched off. And that's when they're called, I, I heard difference. I heard, like, the guy said England, didn't he, yesterday? Mm. But then I've heard like French or German or Hungarian. It's all the same to people from here, mm -hmm. yeah, you, you don't see. <laughs> yeah, so some from Europe, basically, right? And they stitched Guru Saji back up. Like a was, doctor. Yeah, it was a doctor, it was a doctor. And then what happened later on was, uh, do you know how, what the reason was for them, like, passing them? Why when they re the bow. Yeah, so there was a... The stitches open, right? Yeah, the stitches open. So when Guru Saji was in, uh, in the Dilabar, the they have all these weapons out. Now you said there's bare shasta, didn't it? Well, you said that, didn't it? And then if you look at the Gondolas, it was interesting that they have a lot of swords and they have two, they have Dasim and Adi Dasim Bhagash. You don't see that in your house, innit? Uh, so in Guru Saji's court, they had all the Shasta out, and even in Guru Har Gobind Saji's time, they'd have, a, uh, they'd have someone doing Jaur Saji with the Shasta and Guru Saji separately, right? And what happened was um, when there was a big bow there, somebody walked in and said that, like, this is for show, innit? Like, you can't actually. Uh, use, use it. it. And Maharaji then strung it. And that bow is no tank. By and, strung, do you mean? Uh, so the stronger they put the string on in it, because it was just a it was just a bow. Mm. It wasn't strong. And when you're stringing a bow, it's very difficult because it's you need, it needs to be very tight yeah. in order for it to be pulled back. Mm. And then obviously you're saying this is no tank, yeah. which means what? So a tank is like a measurement, mm. right? So I know the total is like two hundred and. 2.5 kg or something like that yep. in pulling strength they need, right? Mm. Uh, I can't remember the, the, the calculations, but if you just type in dong like uh, on Google, like on a Punjabi dictionary, they'll tell you what it equates to, right? Mm. Something like 20, 25 kg. If you do 202.5 divided by 9, mm. you'll get your answer basically or something like that. So a lot of strength needed. So imagine when they say that Guru Sadi's hours used to go for 10 people. Right. Because Obviously. just to give it some um, context, context, the average bow is like 30, 40 pounds. It'd probably 30, be more. 30, 40. No, no. Yeah. The one that we use yeah. is like 30. 30, 40 pounds is about 20 kg. 30, 44 pounds is 20 kg. So that means that Guru Saji's bow is like 10 times. 10 times. More and power. we struggle pulling that back. Yeah, well, you did. I was fine. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all things I'm a natural because my father's got good go visit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Eh? You say I'm like, bro, my dad's good go visit. Remember at the school, he's just saying that uh, song. We are the children of Guru Gobind Singh. No, I don't you know, 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 know. Oh. We didn't go to a six. So when you are going to read know, this song, isn't it? At school, we used to sing it. Can you sing it for us? I don't know it. So how's it. How's it go again? What's the sign? The uh, the no. no, that came out. No, that's the Queenie Benji. That came out way later. No, that is that one. We are the cast out of the mighty, mighty, mighty cast out of whatever you go. go. You want to know who we are? Like this in sixth form. No, no, no. When you were little, <laughs> really? who we are and where we come from. Yeah. And so what do we tell them? We, tell we are the children of Guru Gobind Singh. Guru Gobind Singh Ji. Check out Basic Sikhi YouTube channel. <laughs> Kiddie Sangat. Kiddie Sangat. So Kiddie Sangat. I think it's on our Basic channel. It's got the most views. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what happens next? So what happens next is that they string the boat. Um, with that pressure, it causes the wound to open, uh, and then Maharaji gets it stitched up again, but not to that kind of uh, level, by right, that degree. And they said, "I'm gonna leave my body soon." That's when they made it up the idea to leave their body with the preparations, basically. Right. That's amazing as well. That obviously Maharaj can go whenever they want. Yeah. But they, they're showing they showed us in like a like a worldly way or that, mm. that their body is gone. Anji. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Hundred percent. That's not for us to realize that. It's the death of the body. Mm -hmm. So when people say like, you know, why did this great Gaurasik get ill? What is happening? There's many answers. One answer to that is, it's the body. The, the Gaurasik is not the body, they're Atma, right? Um, um, the, the, the nature of the body, the, the, the Dharam of the body, is that the body is going to perish one day. The body is going to get illness, right? So we have to be able to distinguish between the two. and realize that we are not the body. 
So if the, that's what the that's what happens in the body, right? Uh, like even we talk about skin, isn't it? Not good, this one. Like it always degenerates, in it? And it regenerates, in it? That's like an image of when he came, when the Subhadr came to the Gopi Singh Ji, he fell at their feet. Uh, it, it was cool to all these little writings here, so, isn't it? So you can even read that yourself. Just, just press pause. Is that what it is? It's Mount Tekri. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's Mount Tekri from yesterday. That's uh, the uh, rabbit. Yeah, the, the rabbit. So oh, there's always an the art one coming out of the rabbit. That's the rabbit. What was it called? It's called Shikar Kartsai. So look how good this is. The Karimi sings that allow this. Let's just go now. Zom. I never said that. That's uh, the next <laughs> one. Carry on. Ira Kartsai, right? Yeah, with uh, Bahadur Shah. Yeah. So look, we have been uh, taking it in. Yeah. That was only a bit about 12 hours. It was only a bit fast. Mata Kiwi Ji, Lungan. Gurung Vidya Ji's wife. What's this one? That's when Mata Ji went to Delhi. At the that's uh, Orange uh, Head Sun, Mahat Yeah. No way. It doesn't say that yet. Because over there, what does it say? Wait, there's no thing for this one. They're missing, innit? Uh, okay then. That's what we said, the Mar. That's the crew. We're going to go there as well. Done the Messiah. The top one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So what happened was that someone came to Guru Gobind Singh Ji. Then they did part of they're testing this person. Uh, what happened was that uh, Dalla. Basically saying to Guru Gobind Singh, you should tell him, you should have brought my army. Mm -hmm. And they would have helped you. My army. To fight with, um, with Guru Gobind Singh to go on this Shihidhi app, right? Mm -hmm. All the stories he's talked about. And Guru Gobind Singh said that, look, you're talking about this, but let's test it right now, then, isn't it? If your people would have died for you and stuff like that. And what was it? Guru Sahib just called out and said, would any of my Sikhs stand in front of me and let me shoot a bullet at them? So these two Guru Sikhs, father and son, I think they were, uh, they were they were fighting over who's going to get shot, right? On the other side, Dalla, his um, army, no one went to come forward. So he realized at the moment, he, you know, I'm talking about I want to help the Guru, but you know, my soldiers won't even die for me. All the Guru's soldiers, the, the sons, everyone's going to die for the Guru, right? They're showing that difference, isn't it? They say, a lot of times people came to the Guru and said this stuff. Like, um, one time, Guru, Guru said, he's like, I never, you know, the Charlie Mukti, that story, they said that we would have helped you. I would help you now. And the Guru said, I never asked for you when they would turn their back on the Guru. And they just said, you need to realize that, that, you know, we should be lucky if we get to do Guru Seva. I know people think that the Guru owes us something, innit? Kind of thing, innit? So, Anji, uh, my father, you went to Mataji's Astan yesterday as well. Zafar Nama. Kangan Pot. It's Nehri actually. Nehri Kangan Pot, but it's not from that, is it? No, 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 it says Nehri. Nehri Kangan Pot, yeah. What happened? So this pundit, he went to the darshan of Ram. And when he saw Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Maharaj Ji gave him darshan in the form that he wanted. Right. So in Guru Gobind Singh Ji, hmm. he saw Ram. Right. And that's, that goes on. Right? That's this is, these are all the class I was on. That's Kangan Pot. Yeah. Like, and they chuck their gun, right? Yeah. Even like it's such a young age, one of showing us so many things. It's such a beautiful one as well. You couldn't have children. So Maharaj used to have a lot of affection for her, and she had a lot of affection for Maharaj as well. And then Maharaj used to go sit in her laps, and then she used to feed Maharaj uh, a kutura with a prasad and sole. That was Maharaj's favorite thing to eat. And they still serve that at the Gurdwara. And once... That's your favourite thing as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For any <laughs> Once, once Mataji, wait, Guru Gobind Singh Ji's mother, Mata Gujri Ji, asked Guru Gobind Singh Ji, how can you have two mothers? Mm. And Maharaj said, just like in the, looking in a pond at night, you can see the moon and you can also see its reflection. I can be in both places at the same time. So I can sit in both mother's laps. Oh. So this is our new Pajari, <laughs> That's very nice, man. Before, before Maharaj left Putna side, they gave their shoes to um, the governess. Yeah. Yeah. And you can still see the shoes at Gurdwara Bali Lila side right. in Putna side. Check out this picture, this one. Hmm. I don't want to say much about it. But I like, imagine that scene when Guru Gobind Raji meets Guru, their, their father, Guru Tegh Baji, for the first time. Because mm -hmm. they never, they never, when, when uh, Guru Gobind Raji was in the room of Mata um, Guru Ji, they, 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 this was in like um, Tirebeni, right? Which is on the way to Patana, uh, Sidi Patana side. 
And when they reached uh, Patana Sahib, Guru Tegh Baji actually went in a different direction. So never saw Guru Gobind Singh Ji for the first, maybe like four years, I think it was, four or five years. So imagine the first time Guru Gobind Ji is meeting their father. It's amazing, isn't it? I think that the, our type of Guru didn't actually see their father for the first X amount of years, right? So that's such an amazing picture, man. It's also amazing. You look at a whole series of some of those pictures, man. Mm. Like even Guru Sajimi and Hamayu, Guru Amit, they used to teach kids Guru Mukhi. Mm. Right? Whenever the Guru taught the kids, uh, nobody could interrupt them. Doesn't matter who you are. See, even the emperor who just lost his first battle, or one of his battles, came to see Guru Angadevji. He Guru Saji made him wait for like, I think it was like 45 minutes to 90 minutes. He was standing there. He got annoyed, so he went to pull out his sword on Guru Angadevji. And Guru Angadevji looks at him, as you can see in the picture, and he says that in the battle where you're meant to use your sword, you didn't pull it out, and you've come to see a saint, and you're going to use your sword as a saint. And he throws it up, and he asks for forgiveness. Right, so importance of prioritizing education. Mm-hmm. You know, yesterday we went to that school. Remember, he was saying that my subject is all well, that we don't invest in education. And I don't mean this the wrong way at all. We invest so much into longer, but not into longer or vidya as well, just into food. And why not? I know food is important in our places, but if someone here in, in this state of India, where there's a lot of poverty, is saying that as well, it's very important, right? That actually, it's not, we don't just talk, we don't. Just, even our mind that goes into Langa, we should be using it in the right way as well, right? Because one sad thing is that like, I don't know what your guys' thoughts are on this, but how much food is actually wasted in Langa as well. You've seen that. Like if you ever do Panya di Seva, and you see how much food people leave over, it's crazy, isn't it? And you think about like, how lucky we are to have all this food uh, today. Uh, and what I like about some Guru Gardens is that if somebody brings food to where you're washing, and it's filled, they make them go back and eat it again. They say, you have to finish your food, right? Because we're so lucky to have this food. But then it's like, I'm not saying every single tal has got food left over, but we should also be investing into our education, right? which is very important. And teaching good Rani, aka Santa. <laughs> so very important as well. These pictures are fading because of the light. Yeah. Really? Because there's so much sunlight. Yeah, the the sunlight. pictures are fading. Well, so, Everything has a lifespan in, in when it comes to art and stuff. Mm. That's why when it comes to preservation of it, yeah. they, usually they have like, you can get special glass that stops UV light coming in, okay. or they'll put it in like special cabinets. Mm. It's like, in, if you go to like British Museum or something, yeah. they, have, they invest a lot in preserving it, mm. artifacts against light. You know, we actually started, we should, we should have started from there. It goes in order of history. Oh, so you yeah. start like with Corbus, you went back in time. This is what to do, uh, Gurdwara, yeah? When you're on Yatra. Yeah, on Yatra? I yeah. thought you were taking the mic or something. I am. This is going to hurt my hands. Bus, is that it? I'm going to talk with you now. I do theatre, but eight brings 13. Go on then. I've got nine. Yeah, you've got to finish it now. One. Two more. You made me laugh. No, I can't. No excuses. Go on. Come on. You said theatre now. Go on. One more. You could do it. Go on. Up, up, up. Well done. What's that? No, I can't do it. Go on, Kai, you take over. Go on, what do you call yeah, it? Holy poly. Try it, try it, Holy. See if you can do it. I'm only going to get like one, I think. Hi, it's not that hard, you know. I'll probably do chin up this. Oh, Back's done. Uh, That's what you've done for another week. Hina Kaart Sahib now as well. Same history to, um, what was it? What was Hina Kaart Sahib. Hina Kaart Sahib. Literally just a Sikh this time, not the king. And this is one thing that's really interesting. Is look at um, 
having a sarovar underneath the Guru card. That's really cool, man. I know some of have it. It's dried up, though. It's dried up. Yeah, I think there's a drought in India right now, in this area, I think. Hmm. Hence why uh, they are doing very laughing for me. Also, also, you can uh, say the story of the guy yesterday. Who, what guy yesterday? He told us it was flooding. He didn't let us in. <laughs> oh, yesterday, man, it was flooding. Today, I'm been saying it's a job, so you just imagine a beautiful would look with the water inside it as well. Imagine how these kind of tarns in like the West. Do you think it'd work? Nah, no, it not with work. the weather. Things are swimming pool, isn't it? Let's go to the top, we'll show you some cool stuff. And look at Godavari behind us as well. We're going down to Godavari as well. I don't think we recorded Godavari, have we yet? Nah, not properly. What's also really cool is that like, all these tarns have lions at them as well. Hmm. What do you think that means to you? Uh, having lions and stuff. I thought it's just like a Punjabi thing, like Sheer Lion Khalsa. Like Sheer Banke or something. Yeah, like Lion Khalsa, something like that. To me, I think, I think it's more to do with like the Pera. Pera okay. means like the, the God. Yeah. Uh, and there's like a strong Pera here as well, you can say, in it. Mm. Uh, a lot of guard, a lot of protection. Mm. Uh, so, literally, all those towns have these lions at the front as well, because that's what you'd use to guard, in it? Especially at the doorways or gateways, there's like two lions, so one here and one under. Like there was a, a saint uh, called Sant Baba Atir Singhji. Redu Savale, Mahapurush. So they were the same before Santa, but Ishir Singh Ji, Rava Savale. Hopefully, we'll go to their town as well um, later on. And um, they would say that um, one, one time, Baba Attar Singh Ji, they went into the jungles to meditate in a cave. And there was uh, lions that were guarding Baba Ji. So nobody could interrupt them, basically. I, th I think something happened. Like, uh, for some reason, they, uh, some people didn't want Baba Ji to be there, if I, if I remember correctly. Uh, and uh, what happened was that when the Sangat realized their mistake, they went to get Babaji, but they couldn't because of the lions, right? But the one of the Guru Sikhs said that you don't have to worry. You can go see Babaji, they make sure nothing happens to you. They went through and the lions didn't um, touch them. Comes in Gurubani as well, the idea of animals serving that Guru Sikh. Comes in the Shabad Jatu Mere Valheta Kya Mohachanda. If you're with me, why do I have to worry? And that Shabad, they say, Lakmi, they say, Lakaturasi Mere Nisa Vaseva Karanda. That the 8.4 million different life forms, Sabha Sevakaranda, they serve that one who has got Guru Saji with them. Another interesting thing about this Astan is that Guru Saji fired an arrow from here all the way to Sachkhand, uh, Hazur Sahib, as in the Takht Sahib. This is uh, Nagina Kart Sahib. Yeah, Nagina Kart Sahib. Uh, and that's where the items were kept from like millions of years ago, you could say, about two, three million years ago. Right? They had the items there that are from there. Right, so just if you just pause and think about how far they fired an arrow, maybe we can show on Google Maps on it the distance from the Gina Guard to Duck um, Sucks. Crazy, isn't it? Mm. So, the, again, from earlier, that picture in the museum of the arrow fired some. Imagine that, firing an arrow like this is far. Mm. So, the Gina Guard, make sure you check it out. Did you ever see that Pai Jiginder Singh Kirtan as well? Yeah, yeah. Rire. Yeah, Rire is, yeah. yeah I, when, I, when I was more nice, I used to love his kirtan, man. Yeah. I'd be in MSN to the moon at 2 a.m. listening to his kirtan, bro. Man. So the man, Nani. Is it? Yeah. No way. What about you, <laughs> Rome Vissi? Nah, but I didn't, I didn't listen to his kirtan too much. <laughs> I'll do, when I wasn't waking up, I'm going to do You had this? Yeah. You know that Bavan felt his own thing. So I was just, um, I thought the iPhone alarm was too harsh. <laughs> like, and I was, because I was angry when I'd wake up, then I'd turn it off. So then I made a... <laughs> Like a coach here, I'm sorry, my alarm. No uh, way. But yeah, that didn't work either. So you wake up to like, congratulations. Yeah, yeah they're really like, happy and they wake up in a good mood. And uh, maybe well, like, well, you never woke up though. You went back to sleep, that job done. I'm going to bed, I'll get it. I'll go back to sleep now, aren't you? Where are we now? Gordwara Pajana Gorda Sahib. Pajanagar. What happened here then? I don't know. We we'll walk inside and find out what happened. I'm wondering if it's Pajan or Pajan. I think it's Pajan. Pajan. Pola. Who's Pajanagar? Hmm. Looks like maybe someone did Pagti here. Oh, why Guru? Son of Atar Singh Ji. Mastwane Vare forged the Nokri Chadke. When they gave up their um, job in the army, uh, Baba used to travel and they traveled here to Hazur Sahib uh, and they jetted out of towers by Nanuji. So this is actually in our podcast, Gyani Ji, Pasan Ji, cover all this stuff. Uh, and Santa Ba'atar Singh Ji, Pai Nanu Singh Ji, Ne Darbar Sahib De Samane Wala, 
ਮੋਗਾ ਨਾਮ ਸਿਮਰਨ ਹਿਤ ਸਤ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਨੂੰ ਦੇ ਦਿੱਤੇ ਦੇ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਸਦੇ ਗੇਵ ਆਮ ਬਾਬਾ ਅਤਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਗੈਂਦੀ ਸੋ ਖਬਰ ਪਾਇ ਗਿਆਨ ਜੀ ਜੀ ਪਾਸ ਤੇ ਗੇਵ ਮਨਾ ਕੇ ਆ ਫੇਸ ਵੇ ਦੇ ਕਿਰੂ ਦੇ ਪਗਤੀ ਦੇ ਕਿਰੂ ਦੇ ਮੈਡੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਵਾਇ ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਮੇਡ ਬਾਇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਨਜੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਫੋਰ ਹਿਸ ਸੇਵ ਫੋਰ ਹਿਸ ਸਰਵੈਂਟਸ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਐਂਡ ਡੂ ਦੇ ਮੈਡੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਦਾਸ ਵਾਇ ਦੇ ਮੇਡ ਦਿਸ ਵਾਇ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਨਿਸ਼ ਇਜ਼ ਓਲਰੀ ਮੇਡ ਐਂਡ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਗਿਵਨ ਟੂ ਬਾਬਾ ਅਤਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੋ ਸੰਤ ਬਾਬਾ ਅਤਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸਟੇਡ ਹੇ ਐਂਡ ਗੋਦਾਵਰੀ ਜਸ ਵਾਇ ਦੇ ਐਨੀਵੇ ਸੋ ਲਾਈਕ ਲੋ ਦੀ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਕਾਰਸ ਆ ਔਨ ਦਾ ਲਾਈਕ on the river banks in it mm. all the stars and us interesting cuz you remember that the the Mr Beast video we made and we talked about all the um you know in the rivers who in the rivers but also our gurus are very close with nature mm. you that's evident just through if you look at hazur sai there's probably like 10 gurdware that just along the ri- river i can't think of many that haven't had the river bank on the side mm. they've all literally had it which is really interesting uh so then some of the issues thing you came here um other things you came here from uh 1887 to 1890 so for about third was that three years then three yeah for three years um they did seva here and they um sorry sava pehar nirankar di aradhana kiti uh so they basically did um aradhana yeah. they um aradhana means like to worship to do a vaigaji um they did a uh, sava lakh japti saib uh they part so uh 125 fasting japji sides they did here so to watch the full thing watch a good mock series yeah basically and there's more stuff about how they spent 7 days here and they meditated they got, uh, so it's like 7 days or 7 nights in the godavari river yeah. so is that with the the hut that you see in the river no so the hut no. it, again it comes in the podcast by gyani ji mm. again you pass it that that hut is just like a nishani like a nishani like um, afterwards yeah okay. but this you can imagine it's all being a jungle so it could be anywhere in this jungle right uh yeah so this is basically a memory of some of what other singh ji uh that's okay that's something else but um really cool isn't it again mem- memory of those great gurus of love um amrit parchar as well they say millions of people inspired by that singh ji and blessed amrit right even baba ishi singh ji rala sa wale they were inspired by baba tar singh ji as well uh, they carried on inspiring me and, and probably i would say a lot of us wouldn't even be here in gursikhi roop today cuz our ancestors would have taken them because of these gursiks 100% and listening to their stories he keeps us in our sikhi or inspires you into sikhi as well mm. so this is a, a pajan gar sahib pajan luse if you say pajan kaske like in santhi i means pajke like to leg it one in it Let's let's leg it uh, in in the good door now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cheesy. Oh, pardon, as in a pardon, but the cola needs to be meditated. Let's let's pardon now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then, like in cities and stuff, yeah, people probably can say are less connected to nature. Hundred percent. Equals less connected to Waiguru because yeah. Waiguru is like connected to nature. What's that pangti from Rada Sai that talks about? Balhari kudrat masya tera antara jai kudrat. Yeah, that I'm um, a sacrifice to your kudrati, to your creation. Then yeah. antana jai lakya. I cannot even fathom. So even if you feel like you go to a park or you go to a forest and you walk, mm. you instantly feel more lighter, more connected, more mindful. Mm. And there could be some correlation between nature and mindfulness. Like there is, yeah, definitely. Even that's why we come to India. I feel we just feel more connected, isn't it? So you need drive through like the fields and stuff in it it's yeah. beautiful what what Bhavan Reed was saying was also that your vishave card don't affect you as much what's vishave card like your gun grows no more and gun your, your passions in it mm. yeah they don't they don't hey yeah, and it's true mm. as I'm also saying as soon as you land back in England it's like smashing your face you're, in you're bombarded, you're bombarded with everything with it, hey. all this maya mm. and like and if you just realize it cuz they think that something's wrong with them if they just realize and they're actually going to a different environment and they were open to shots and they would think okay okay it's not as bad as it sounds mm. of course it's not great but it, it we also have to remember these. that so much bhakti and tapasya was done here that that that's why that energy is so positive you know yeah. the one thing that i really loved about coming to the zoo side We talked about earlier was that you have art and that's some good guy said you put a cash and things are like us we couldn't even do that seva of even from that some good guy said you right like I know we talked about in the podcast we had to hear about like something imagine getting to the stage where you could do seva of reading both 
are all of Guru Granth Sahib Ji, I mean, all of us in Guru Granth Sahib Ji are comfortable. That'd be so inspiring, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Imagine in the UK, like we could have more progress and we could do talk more about Guru Gobind Singh's Bani as well and let people listen to that Bani. Only now we have that, but it's not as common, isn't it? Yeah. That's what's cool about like the things in like the Midlands who do the Seva quite often. And then now in London, you're finding it more and the Hong Santhia and stuff. Uh, but that's just amazing, man. Imagine that. Just like, uh, and it's just so norm. It's like the norm here. Like the board, isn't it? You know, like in England, you have the board and it has the hook on the side of it. Here, they have that, but they have it for dusting the things as well. It's crazy, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at the next Guru card, but this is the last one. But you'll see it like every time you come to any of these, there's, there's two boards one for the odd hook on the side and dusting. So it's really cool, man. Honestly, I ain't gonna be serious. No, no, no. It's, it's not. There's water. It's not. It's so. It's so. You, if you fall, you hit the water. Yeah, but. Well, I'm here going to That's you, that's gonna be a hard to drop, bro. Uh, hitting concrete. <coughs> yeah, depends on how long. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you ain't funny, you know. How do you feel about this? What's at the bottom? It's a reflection. Oh. Okay, so that was a well there. Yes, that was the one that you tried to push me down. And now, what, what's the Angita side then? Uh, Angita side, we saw it as well at my apartment this time. It's basically where they um, they burn the body of the ash that's left over. So hmm. basically, at the cremation of that person. That's the Angita Sahib. So um, it's basically that place is kept out of respect. Like that's where the person's cremation happened, right? Hmm. So here they've got one for Baba Hazura Singh Ji. And here's Baba Joginder Singh Ji. Hmm. So those are the two Jathedars of Sri Taks, Tak Sahib before Baba Kulwan Singh Ji now. So before Baba hmm. Kulwan Singh is Baba Hazura Singh and before there was uh, Baba Joginder Singh Ji morning. And what's really interesting is that people think, you know, why, why would you do this for, right? If you look in Gurbani, those that recite God's name, um, who serve the Guru, they say, Ona di Soba, Joga Joga Hoi, Koina Meta Nahara. Their soba, their, their greatness is going to stay forever. Nobody can destroy that. And when I was at Chimathade, I was thinking that it's amazing that they've built these places in their memory. And like at Baba Moniji's Asthan, the top Asthan, where they meditated, there was somebody telling us their own history about how they did seva for 40 years without taking no salary. 40 years. And they used to also do longer than the seva. For 40 years. Do you know what I mean? And for 12 years, they, they kept mourn. Mourn means that you stay mute. So they didn't talk for 12 years. It's amazing, right? So there's a few stories about Moni Singh in the podcast that's going to come out with um, by Indrajit Singh, isn't it? The Haley. Mm. So hopefully they can be shared there. But we should do good Gurmukh series on them. 100%. Just their lives on this own is crazy. It's crazy. I think that could all link into the Hazur Sa podcast that people wanted us to do, right? Yeah. Uh, and stuff. So hopefully we could do that in the future. Um, there's, there's so much to cover. It's so exciting, right? Like, and it just means every time we come back to Hazur Sa, we're going to know more. Mm. And you'll know more. When you guys come, because we're learning uh, at the same time, right? Like even the Baba Atta Singhji stuff there, we went through earlier. We only know half of that stuff because, oh, I'm getting bitten by an ant. Ouch. How? <sighs> Painful, man. They put on little buggers, innit? <laughs> um, but um, the half the stuff that we know is because of um, that podcast with Yanni G and passing you. So imagine. Mm. So it's really nice to come and actually see it in person. Definitely. And why you should listen to the podcast as well. Mm. <laughs> Keep it. You guys are right there. We're telling them the importance of Lungar, isn't it? Uh. <laughs> why it's blessed to have Lungar. Baba, I'm still thinking he's been here for hours here. And we're going to be complaining about a few minutes. I bet you've got the other tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in the jungle, so it must be really hot. That's spot in the shade. I think it's even hotter, isn't it, man
And jungles have that like, like, humid and stuff. No, jungles, it depends. Jungles have an ecosystem, so they're cool in certain places, <coughs> isn't it? Okay. Here, because we've concreted everything, mm. you know, the concrete is just going to uh, reflect the heat as well, right? Mm. At least in jungles, the trees give a canopy and you have like... I think they absorb it as well, actually. Yeah, okay. They absorb the heat. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Just random stuff. Man. He does a lot of random facts, that's a crazy thing, man. So, um, this is Godavari, this is the river. Um, that was so, on the banks of Venice. That was fine. Right? Yeah, so, we're Godavari right now. <laughs> Everybody, this is Godavari. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. <laughs> is that recording? Yes, yeah, sir. Oh my gosh. I keep his fine. as well. Oh, my God. So this is the Godavari. <laughs> this is a lot of water. Basically, the Godwares, they have it on the bank. It actually smells better today than the other day. Looks the same. <laughs> no, it's better. It's a little bit cleaner. It's crazy how the doors open, isn't it? It's inviting you. So is there a certain point uh, of the year, obviously when the water resides, that you can actually go in there? Or you can... I, 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 every time I've come here... When the water, when the water okay. resides. Who do you think you are? He's David Attenborough. Say a normal word. Say a normal word. What? What's the normal word? What do you word? mean, besides? Bro, that's an easy word. Come on. You, you Says the guy who knows everything else in the world, but you don't know what resides means. Oh, okay. No. Is that your green friend education now? <laughs> Yo. Whoa. Does that smell? It smells bad than I did about drive. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> so, you know, in the podcast, you've, uh, Gani Jee Passage, you talked about Sadhu Vata Singh Ji, and I asked this question uh, about them. Is this where they did the meditation? It was in this area, but this is like the yard, that's like a memory of them, right? Mm. So this is time here. So it looks like not much seva has been done mm. here, right? Oh, very clean. Last time I came, it was actually very clean. Mm. So I don't know if it's just the season or I don't know to where this why it's so bad. I think the water's really still as well, so it's a lot of like algae and rubbish is still up. The water's flowing more over there though, isn't it? Mm. On the other side of those, those um, pillars. So, it's a lot of pollution. I think that people actually I, I think that's, it. It's No, but that's also because of the way that they build mm. these structures, you know? All this, this bank with concrete, mm. that's probably affected by the river. Yeah, and also maybe like the pollution, maybe it's not all from here, it could come from upstream as yeah, well, because yeah. it is the second largest river in India, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After the Ganges, right? Ganges is the biggest. So, Hanji, this is Godavari. So, from Takht Sahib, all the way here, Sangha to walk every single morning at 1.45 in the morning and they'd come to this town over here the Gagar Kund where they'd go down and they'd, they'd um, collect water in a water pitcher people would sit here, it's packed in the morning absolutely packed uh, and uh, they do Guru Mantra Jap and Mu Mantra Jap Vaheguru Vaheguru is Guru Mantra, Mu Mantra, Ik Ongar, Satanam Kar, Tatpur, you know the rest What time is that? It starts at 1.45 from Sach Khan and Takht Sahib and they get here for about just for two and for about half an hour they do that and in, there's a lot of birds in the morning, you can hear them all chirping. And when yeah. the simmon starts, I mean, if I remember correctly, it's complete silence. Then after the start again, everyone starts talking. Right. Well, that is something that we notice as well, isn't it? The parrots and the birds. Chirping. And your, what's your, what's that favorite bird that you have? The hummingbird? The hummingbird, yeah. The hummingbird. He used to show me hummingbirds and say, look how beautiful they look. They so, were um, right outside our room as well, in Dagger yeah, Chirping. Mm. chirping yeah. <laughs> the deal was momented, bro. <laughs> No, Japji, Sahib. Oh, the way you said that. I'm wrong, these things being really religious because they're still no, Japji, Sahib, isn't it? And uh, because Muma did a Japji, Sahib. So you come and sit in the shade, and then Karami Singh walks up to us and he says, What you guys do? I said, We're going to sit there in the Japji, Sahib. He goes, Japji, Sahib. <laughs> <laughs> and I had these laughs, laughing fear about it. <coughs> you joker. I'm one of the things that sings on, we're doing it today. Uh, we're staying in someone's house, and then we're done Pandapania, and then uh, we're about to start Shabd Hazare. And then afterwards he goes to me, he goes, look bro, the deal was nit the name. He goes, none of that extracurricular stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Nanak de mukha ujjale kiti chutti ha
closest town is called Langerisai. And um, it's on the way from uh, Dakhtsai to Gudavi. So Gudavi is literally just over there. And Nagina Ghat is there as well, right? So the history of this place is actually really beautiful. It was started by a Guru Sikh called Baba Nadan Singh Ji. So Baba Nadan Singh Ji is actually from Punjab. And they traveled here later in their life, so they're part of the army as well. And then they didn't enjoy their time in the army. So they came to Hazur Sahib by foot um, in the late 1800s, I think it was, or the early 1900s. And um, they started to do seva here at Takht Sahib. So where Satch Khan Takht Hazur Sahib is, they do um, seva there uh, for 12 years. And a lot of people loved Baba um, Nidan Singh Ji. But what happened was that there's, bit of, there's a few people that are jealous of Baba Nidan Singh Ji. And because of their jealousy, they actually started to, you know, attack Baba Nidan Singh Ji verbally and physically, uh, pushing them and these kind of things and just saying, spreading a lot of rumors about them. They caused me a split. And Baba Nidan Singh Ji thought, I don't, I don't need this tension, innit? So he said, I'm just going to go back to Punjab where I can do my seva. So Baba Ji decided to leave and they made their way back to Punjab. But to get back to Punjab, they were going to catch a train. When they were at the train station at that time, uh, Baba Nidan Singh Ji, um, they're waiting and the, the next train was to take ages to come, right? And earlier when I said they walked in by foot, that might not be true actually, they might have fought a train as well. So I don't know why I said that, but anyway, um, they were getting a train back, they went to the train station, the train's taking ages, so Babaji went to a deep state of meditation. And when they went to meditation at that time, um, they opened their eyes and there was like this big gosh, like so much light, like thousands of suns had just appeared. And basically Guru Gobind Singh Ji appeared with their horse and a barge, a bird in their hand and the hawk. And what happened then was that Guru Gobind Singh said to Baba Nadal Singh Ji, what are you doing? And he said that I'm going back to Punjab to do my seva. And Guru Gobind said, no, you got to do your seva here. Crazy, isn't it? And then they said that, go to this Asthan that's next to the Ginnakad, Sahib. And that's where you do Langar Adi Seva. And from then up to now, that seva has continued. And when there was no Pandey, like you like here have a Tava to make the Parishad there. They use whatever utensils they could. If you put chucked like sabjiya, uh, like, like, you know, pate, like leaves and stuff that will not be used, they'd go and wash it in the river and use it to make parshadda. If there's no money, they, they don't have the loon masala, no um, loon is salt masala in English. What's it masala in English? Spices. Like spices and stuff. None of that stuff. So it's have plain sabji. Well, like, we need our loon in here, guys. We can't eat it. I think, what is this? Very simple langar. Baba Nadal Singh Ji did that seva for many, many years. And after them is Baba Harnam Singh Ji continued the seva. Then after them, Baba Atama Singh Ji. And then Baba Shisha Singh Ji continued the seva. And then now Baba Narendra Singh Ji and Baba Balwinder Singh Ji continued the seva today. So you come and see them. Have darshan of them at this Asthan. Um, when they have similar the morning, Baba Ji is there as well. Leading the similar, giving up desh, teaching to the Sangat. So, you know, there's Langar Di Seva here. There's Guru Gan Ji Maharaj Prakash here. There's um, Katha every single day, there's Kirtan, there's Simran that happens in the morning and the evenings, it's amazing. So make sure when you come to Hazur side, you come to Langar side, you can even stay here, there's rooms here as well at Langar side. And uh, this, the Langar Di Seva here is all done as Seva. Right? So if you go to Takht side, they have employees there that do the Seva, right? Not taking nothing away from the Langar there, but just there's something to point out there anyway, that the Seva is all here done uh, by Seva Dars. Uh, and uh, definitely come and have the long day as well. It's very tasty, uh, just like any other Buddha's Thaan. But definitely check it out. It's on the way to um, the Bhavadi. And uh, yeah, that's got that long day aside for you guys as well. So what's the plan now? So the plan now is to make our way to Hyderabad airport. Uh, we just left Dr. Satchkar, we're actually just walking out. So we just said Fateh uh, to Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji um, in Dr. Sahib. Uh, so we're going to go to Hyderabad airport, but along the way we're going to stop at our three different stands. One is a stand of the shortest of Zadar, if I remember correctly, but we know once the vlog carries on. Second is a stand of Mahat Bhagavad as well. Uh, um, and the third one is a Nanak Jita, which is Guru Nanak Ji Maharaj Ji actually visited. So Guru Sahib actually came to this area as well. It wasn't just Guru Gobind Singh Ji. 
So we're stopping off at three places. It's about 11 o'clock at night right now. Our flights are 8.30? Yeah, 8.30 a.m. tomorrow. 8.30 a.m. So we've got to be there for about 6 o'clock. 6.30 the latest at the airport. So we've got what? How long? We've got like... We've got enough time. We've got enough time. We've got enough time. It's about a six hour drive as well. Yeah, and the roads are all right, actually. I don't know about Nanak Judah. We've got seven Judah. hours. We've got, it's about 11.30 now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nanak Judah's roads are not that great, to be honest. When the last I went two years ago, mm. very bumpy. As soon as you come out of this state, mm. as, as literally as soon as you go past it, it just starts to go do 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 the whole way. So we ain't going to sleep in the car, basically. Um, so yeah. Well, we've got a good car. You know what saying? How, how do you feel? We're leaving such country. Nah, got it. Actually, got it. Yeah. But it's basically this is a good thing. It's like also good that to feel like you're not over, not over not overstaying, but you just miss it. You know that you're gonna miss it, mm. so you'll want to come back. So I think mm. that's a nice feeling as well. You know, bittersweet, you could say. Mm. That's actually good. And this but is like, your, this is your first time here, no? Yeah, your first time. So yeah. what do you, what was your experience overall? This first time. Um, amazing. The I I was a bit not apprehensive. But I thought oh. Because uh, all sub things they be a bit like a third or very strict, but everyone was so, so just so 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 showed so much love. All these sevadars, all the sangat, mm. so everyone. It's like mini kasarad sort of thing. You walk down the street, everyone sings and that, everyone for to each other. Yeah, yeah, it's not just the nod. Mm. Uh, it's just mad loving, man. Really, really powerful. Mm. Yeah. How about you? Not your first time, but how was it for you? It's always just amazing to come back, just to experience that, because everything's been preserved all the mm. life. So mm. it's so nice to, it's a, like a breath of fresh air to finally to experience that again. Mm. I'm comfortable for now, but ask me in about two hours and I'll let you know. Oh my god, you haven't even got a seat, bro. <laughs> I'm sitting on a seat. Is seat wet Just reaching out of Jira. Mm -hmm. So we was meant to go to another two Astans, but they said it's closed, which yeah. was a bit obvious because it's like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> But it's funny because the taxi, the the taxi shop guy was like, it'll be open. But now the taxi driver was like, it's not. So it's like, you got know I mean? So yeah, so we reached Nanakira now, it's three o'clock in the morning. I don't know if Maharaji put a car shed this time, but we'll check out the different astans, uh, the different kind of special things. Why is Nanakira so special? So um, yeah, I've got to be seeing you have a nice sleep in the car. <laughs> yeah. Look how fresh he is. Yeah, he looks so fresh, right? All of us struggling to fall asleep, but this guy just knocks out like that, right? No. All the bumps and cracks and stuff, he's sleeping no, no, through no. it. All of us trying to stay awake, trying to keep the driver awake, trying to pray to God, but he's snoring away. So. So um, we're standing in front of the Ahmed My name Khan. is oh, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Right, so this is basically, if you go down these stairs, there's like a little stand there um, where it's got like a nishani of Guru Sahib Charan. Nishani, like a, a sign, or what would you call it? Like a footprint, hmm. you could say, right? So what they say here is that when Guru Nanak did you came to this area, um, the Sangha did a humble plea to the Guru that they don't have much water here. But also, whatever water they have is Kara, um, which is like a very salty, you could say, right? So they did a humble plea to the Guru that can you make the water sweet here? Uh, and he bless us with water. And that's when Guru Saji, there was like a, you could say, like just a, a rock or a little mountain. And Guru Saji just, um, just put their foot against it. So they touched their foot against that rock and water started gushing out, basically. So. 
all the all the villagers would now come to this area to get their water and take it back to wherever they needed to go, and the water was sweet uh, and it was then de- therefore drinkable, right? Mm. So you can have darshan of that. Right? They even just gave us some amrit jal as well, so we'd call that amrit jal is a more respectful term for water, uh, and uh, we had that. We drank that. We also went inside a matha tik as well. Uh, we bow down to that jalan, um, and for those who think, why are you bowing down to a little footprint, for example? It's really cool because if you look on top, it says Jithe Baba Bhaira uh, Tare, which is wherever my Guru puts their feet, Pujana Asana Tapana Suwa. That place becomes a place that we worship. Like we said at the start of these vlogs, Jithe Jai Bhaira Mera Satpur Sultana Sahaba Ram Raja, wherever my Guru sits, wherever my Guru's feet, my Guru's feet goes, that place is blessed. That's why even this country, India, is very, oh no, Guru said we traveled to other places, but like they all took. Avatar, they all came on this earth in this particular region. Majority of our gurus, right? Uh, in terms of Punjab or whatever that would be, Patana Sahib. So, you know, it's a very blessed place, and uh, a Sikh would bow in that direction where the guru is or the guru has been. And there's a uh, like a, a memory, you could say, like, you know, mm. you know, that we remember the guru for coming here. I wouldn't say memorial, that's probably not the right word, right? Like Itihas. Itihasic, historical, right? Mm. It's three o'clock in the morning, so a bit sleepy. God of these things are right, he's just slept a lot, right? As I said earlier, <laughs> we're the ones struggling now. And he's getting, he's getting bit by a matcha right now. So many matcha, so many mosquitoes, man. They're just attacking us, man. So, you know, places like this, there's actually, there's quite a few different places, isn't it? Where Guru Sahib made like water come out the ground for Sangat. Yeah, there's quite a lot. Is this where you can ask me to name some? Yeah. Um, one is uh, by Himaji. It's by Himaji, who's a Sikh of Guru Arjan Devji. And uh, even there, they made a water appear when they told by Himaji to move a rock out of the way, and then water came gushing out as well. Uh, what else is there? There's probably so many examples. Maybe if anyone's watching this vlog, mm. uh, you can give us some examples of uh, different places. But Do you know one? Even that is just like a. If you think if you think about it, we take water for granted, right? <laughs> it's like a basic necessity. Yeah. And many people don't have access to it. No. So Guru Sahib is like so beyond that. They even went and gave people that basic right of water. Hundred percent, hundred. And like you said, I don't think we really appreciate that today because of, you know, we have access to water, uh, taps, mm. and stuff like that, right? Uh, even though certain places don't still have that, but a lot of places, mm. even that are greedy, that are poor, have that kind of access more now. Mm. Uh, it's a bit more accessible, you could say. But, you know, back in the Guru's times... This is like four or five hundred years ago, Guru Sahib was giving clean drinking water, pure from yeah, like springs. Exactly, right? Mm. Uh, and uh, just to even put into more context, like this more yesterday morning, uh, when we was bathing and having, having a shinal in the morning, uh, the water ran out, mm. right? And it wasn't even clean water. Like, it was black stuff coming out of the tap mm. with the water. And I was like, I'm not bathing in that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And then I asked the on guard thing to come and look. He goes, ew. <laughs> right? And then I turned it off and I turned it back on. And then pure black water came out. Mm. Right? And then after I had to fill it up again. And luckily, it, I'm not, it wasn't clean. It was still a bit dirty. But we had to bath with that water. And the reason I said that is because if that was us in the UK, we, we were like, no way. Do you know what I mean? So even people here today still in... You know, in this area, they're not. There's not to say that they're, they're bathing in clean water. Mm. Even somebody suggested that when you brush your teeth, you use a bottle of um, drinking water. Don't even use the tap water. I use, I just use a tap water, but rag all like that, right? Mm. Uh, but do you get what I mean? Like think about even today, still in 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 the 21st century, in certain places that are more built up and modern, the water supply is still not that great. Mm. So there's a lot we could take away from that. As well as getting bitten at the same time by these mosquitoes. <laughs> so well, let's carry on then. Let's keep going. Let's go have darshan. And there's a sarovar. So let's go look at the huge, it's a huge sarovar. And there's a lot of sarava as well, a lot of places people can stay. Mm. It's huge, man. It's huge. So let's go have a look. So this is the sarovar. Yep, this is a small one. It looks quite empty, but it still looks very really nice though. And when I came two years ago, I think it was just after, um, was it just after? Or was it, it was before um, Guru Sahib G550 when I came uh, in 2019 and it was packed here. 
and uh, the snow is filled right to the top. So I'm guessing they just haven't filled it because probably not as much Sangat coming. Because uh, it's, it's really far from like main Hazur side, back side. It's about like a f about four hour drive. Because mm -hmm. uh, the roads are not great as well, so it takes longer. Even though the distance isn't that much. It's, a, so, it's yeah. in between Hyderabad Airport and Tachkan side, right? Yeah. So Hazur side. Yeah, so you know, if you're, if you're going to catch a flight, especially from like the UK or something, Mm. Or, or just in general, like you know, you can catch a flight to Hyderabad. You don't have to always go to Nandir, for example, in it. Nandir mm. is closer, but then you could catch a flight from outside. So there's, there's not always flights going to Nandir, right? Yeah, it's a bit it's, it's hit and missing. You might have to get a connecting flight, mm. or you might have to fly to Amritsar Sahib, but then fly. But you can go to Hyderabad. That's what we did, mm. and then we go. And or if you're flying out, for example. Then you can stop off here. There's a two other stars. We never got to see them, like I mentioned earlier. Mm. But then you can come here as well. Uh, and I've definitely def a place to stop. There. Definitely, it's very peaceful, very very beautiful. Like you're saying, you you know, it's very beautiful, Stan. And uh, it's like three twenty-five in the morning, and there's gonna be Prakash of Guru Granth Sahib. So we're lucky we get to come for Prakash, and then we have to leave. Uh, the taxi driver's proper mashup in it, so he's like, uh, leave me alone for now, basically. And make sure you don't come up before that so you can get his hour sleep mm. uh, and stuff so yeah it's, it's definitely out of the way but if you're going to hide the the airport then it's definitely on the way basically mm. so you can definitely check this place i would highly recommend it as well if you're going to come like someone said to me when i was coming here they go that uh, to hazur they go if you're going to go all the way to hazur sub you have to go nanak jira mm. because they don't, it makes no sense if you don't do that right so um yeah and another funny little story is that I was trying to open this gate, God only seems that it's locked, right? So basically, you just gotta slide it, right? And I was trying to pull it up the whole time in it. Then he just went, bro, use your brain, just slide it, right? So, yeah. Don't worry, I'm here for you, bro. <laughs> One thing we've just all been commenting on is how beautiful this Asan actually is, and you can see all the fresco works, all the marble work everywhere. Guys, we're nearly there. The airport. How's the journey been? Alright, it's actually been alright, but we had just had the, the best driver. How was that talking to me? Really, really good. Yeah. What? What did you think? Oh, wait. Yeah. 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 For Jara, five six weeks, he's been sitting at the back all this time. How's he been back there, bro? It's bumpy. From Hyderabad Airport, we're flying to Bombay. Bombay, and then from there. Oh, is it? Amritsar. Bro, Amritsar. No one's you can go. We can get that flight. <laughs> no more flights. Yo. I will have one for you. How many mans can you get into a five seater? Seven, it looks like. Is it seven? There used to be like uh, statues here of Pangra dancers. Do you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. And uh, and they got smashed down. Yeah. 